Welcome to this SolidWorks modeling and simulation tutorial guys. In this tutorial we will be modeling this part in SolidWorks and we will perform simulations or finite element analysis on this part as well. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK. And after that drop down this menu change the background to plain white for better visualization and make sure that you are working in MMGS which are millimeters as units. Now select top plane and click on sketch and after that drop down this menu and select here center rectangle and create a center rectangle at this origin like this. Now select circle and make a circle so that it is coincidence with the corner of the rectangle and now select the center line and make a vertical center line at half of this rectangle like this. And now select here trim entities and trim all of these lines. Make sure that you have selected this power uh, trim option. Okay. Now select the corner and the circle make relation coincidence here. And again select the circle and this corner of the rectangle make relation coincidence. So that the circle always crosses the corner. Create a circle here and here specify the diameter for this circle as 32 millimeter and specify the length of this line of the rectangle as 70 millimeter and this length should be 30 millimeter. Now press escape button, hold control key, select these two points and make relation horizontal so that these are horizontally aligned now select smart dimensioning tool and here select this bigger circle do not change any dimension and now trim this inner area and now select here mirror entities and select all of these lines except the vertical one and mirror about select this vertical line and check the box and now the sketch is completed now go to features and select her extruded boss base drop down this menu and here select mid plane so that the sketch can be extruded on both sides it's it is helpful in mirroring 10 mm extrusion length is fine check the box now select this face and click on sketch and here i am making a center rectangle so select a center rectangle and create a rectangle at this origin now let's specify some dimensions the length of this line is 20 millimeter and the length of this line is 120 millimeter and now it's time to apply some sketch fillets so select this sketch fillet tool here specify 5 millimeter the radius and in this window select all of these corners and then check this box from here and then cross go to features and here select extruded cut and here specify the depth of cut as 2 millimeter and check this box and as you can see this cut has been created now i have to make the similar cut on the back side either i can make the same sketch and cut or i can mirror it so i am mirroring it in features and mirror uh, window select the cut and in this first window i have to select this top plane which basically cuts this part in half and check this box from here now the cut has been applied on both sides now select fillet tool and here i am selecting this edge this one and if i select the first option all of the fillets all of the four edges will be selected 10 mm radius is fine for the fillet and check the box now i have to save this part before performing any simulation so save as and here you can save in the right direction directory where you want you can rename as you like and click ok now drop down this menu select add-ins 
and here you need to make sure that you have enabled SOLIDWORKS simulations and click OK. When you enable these, this simulation tab will be enabled. So you have to drop down this menu and here select new study. And here you can rename it and make sure that you have selected the static and check the box. A new tab will be opened as you can see it from here static study tab. So in this tab, we have to specify some parameter. This is the uh, this is the tree for the simulations. Right click here on the part and select apply edit material. So here there are many material you can apply. I am se selecting this alloy steel and these are the properties for these alloy steels and click on apply and then click on close. As you can see the color of the part has already been changed and the material has been applied as well right click on fixtures and select fix geometry and in this fix hinges i am selecting this internal circumference of the circle and check this box from here so this should be fixed and other should be moving so right click here on the external force and click on the force and I want to apply the force on the other side which is not fixed this one so select the internal circumference of this one and select this option for the direction and select this edge for the direction I want the forces to be outward so I want to reverse the direction for the force so here is the option for reverse direction and here select SI as units and 1800 Newton as force and check this box from here now right click on the mesh and here select create mesh creating mesh means this part geometry will be divided into small parts and the force will be applied here uniformly and here specify a 4 millimeter and 0.2 millimeter as the parameter for this mesh you can specify according to your case and check this box from here it will take some time while creating the mesh and here you can see the mesh has been applied or created on this part now we simply have to run this study and it will take some time and here we have the results available for stress strain and displacement this right here is the, the result for the stress you can animate it and you can tune it from here so that you can see the areas for the stress basically the red areas are critical areas where most of the stresses are applied and you can right click here on displacement and click on show and here these are the values for the displacement and you can animate it either and this is the value for the strain and you can animate right click here and click on animate so that you can see the critical areas the red zone areas for the strain as well so you can basically make some changes uh, right click here on the stress and click on show this is the value for the yield strength and after this point the material basically deforms now let's make some changes in the model so go to model tab and uh, right click on the fillet and edit it and here i'm basically increasing the radius for the fillet and we know that when we change the thickness of the material it also have some impact on the strength as well so i am increasing the thickness from 10 to 20 millimeter now go back to the simulation tab and run this same study again it will take some time and now the values for the stresses has been changed as you can see it from here so as per the case you can uh, specify some parameters you can change some parameters in your design so that your model can have the appropriate amount of strength to bear the stresses and now let's decrease this diameter in the model exit the sketch and then come back to the simulation tab and run this study all over again and that's how we make changes in our model and using this finite element analysis we fine tune our model so that's it for this video